Welcome to the Reverberations Podcast, where we explore the human experience and the journey of self-discovery. What's good, everyone? Welcome to another season of Reverberations. Really excited to get this season underway. We're going to begin this season with the episode of Better Together. Coming off of last season where we dialed into embracing the fire within, our passion, our purpose, presence, engaging in the power of play, learning about vulnerable masculinity, the path of service, and how I shared the story of going from breakdown to breakthrough and awakening the sacred heart and experiencing waves of gratitude. The invitation comes to us of where we witness opportunities for growth, of where there's radical acceptance, of where we radically trust and engage in radical self-reliance and tune in with interdependency. And before we can even externalize our experience and focusing on being better together, it's really about looking within of how we can be a better human, how we can be a better steward of the planet and ask ourselves why Why are we engaging in the patterns that we are engaging in? To witness the mirror and tune in with our own inner shadow. And the magic of this is is when we recognize the patterns, we can disrupt the pattern. We can crack the code. And for myself, it was going from the nice guy to the superior man to witness my role and what I could do about it. And we're on that journey of self-discovery. It could be a lonely road. There's vulnerability that comes forward. There's a whole lot of shit that we face on our journey of self-discovery. We witness a whole lot of things about ourself that are holding us back from our heartfelt desire, from our souls, yes, from our most intimate and expansive vision. We recognize that our choices that we have made repetitively over and over and over again have created the future that we're now experiencing. And sometimes we can go into that pity party or we can also play the victim. Or we could be like, oh, it's just way too hard that I don't have the resources, that I don't have the skill set, that I don't, that I don't, that I don't, or this situation or this circumstance. The reality is, is when we tune in with ourselves, when we sit with ourselves, when we really give ourselves the opportunity to be with ourselves, beyond the noise, beyond the static. And a lot of that can take time. It can take practice. It's one of the gifts that meditation has offered me is that sitting with myself, sitting with the infinite intelligence, sitting in that space of silence, recognize how we fight ourselves. We recognize that our virtues may not be as in place as we feel that they are. We're radical trust. Patience may not be at the forefront of our day-to-day operating system. Because when we sit with ourself, and 30 seconds goes by, what the hell am I doing? What's going on? I'm just sitting here. It's boring. I should be doing something right now. Why am I thinking that? I don't want to be thinking that. I should think of something else. I can't think of something else because I keep thinking about that. I'm just going to sit here and be quiet and not think about that anymore. I'm going to ignore that now. Something should be happening, isn't it? What's the whole purpose of this anyway? This is such a waste of time. Forget it. I'm done. How many of us have had that experience? Of just sitting with ourselves, sitting in the silence. It doesn't even need to be a meditation. We could be sitting on our couch. We could be laying at the pool. We could be at the beach. We could be on the plane. We could be anywhere. The vulnerability that comes forward when we sit with ourselves, we sit in the silence, is we recognize that being with ourselves requires our participation. It requires us to show up for ourselves, to show up for life. And when we begin to do this on repeat, we begin to witness subtle shifts in our day-to-day experience. Because it's not about the big changes. It's about those subtle shifts. It's about the little things that we do each and every single day. About the choices that we reimagine. Of how we see things through a different lens and choose differently so we can experience a life that's more in alignment with our values. That supports a more sustainable and harmonious co-creation between all in existence. Because it's no longer about being the lone wolf. 
It's about being better together. And that begins within. So how? How do we do it? Well, really, the kicker is how isn't our job? It's to trust. Not in humanity, not in any figurehead, not in our partner. To trust in something beyond form. This is the definition of transformation. To go beyond form. The invitation is to go beyond what we see, into the formless, essence, source, or some may choose to call it God, whatever it is that you identify with or align with or choose to express it as. For when we trust, there's a reward system. When we trust in the unknown, we lean into the unseen. Synchronistic events of the infinite kind have their way because we give up control. One of my favorite examples of this is we can hold a pen in our fist, palm down, and after a while, we'll no longer be able to hold on to that pen any longer. We can grip it as tight as we want, and after a while, we're going to get tired, and we're going to drop the pen. The other option is, is we can hold the pen in the palm of our hand, which opens up to possibilities. The possibility is someone could come by and take the pen, the other possibility is, is someone could come by and place another five in our hand. Another option is someone could take the pen and replace it with something else. We open ourselves to possibilities. Whereas the other way, what we hold on to holds us back. If we cling tighter and tighter, that grip constricts, suffocates, restricts possibility. So in what ways can we be better together? It all begins with a choice. A choice to shift our mindset, our attitude, our actions. As one of the great Stoics, Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters, of where we can respond rather than react. For responding comes from a place of responsibility. We can become more devoted and committed to our personal and collective growth and recognize the connection and the interdependency between the two of where we take care of ourself, we take care of everything else. And everything else takes care of itself. Other ways that we can support a more sustainable and harmonious coexistence for all in creation is to buy local or grow our own food, eat healthier, to recycle, compost, be more active in and with our body. We can choose to walk or bike when available. We can deconstruct racism and LGBTQ sensitivities. We can repair the male-female dynamic. We can engage in value-based living, listen deeper, learn healthy, productive forms of communication, practice empathy and random acts of kindness just because. We can embrace the journey of self-discovery. Whatever your path is, Rather than being indoctrinated, be curious about our conscious evolution. We can look to those that are positive role models with moral ethics. We can practice gratitude. We can be the example. We can forgive. We can give back, participate, and volunteer. One of the most important ones is is that we can celebrate life. We can have fun and be ourselves, the you that you know to be true. And in challenges, love ourselves through it. Love others through it. Be personally responsible and accountable. And radically trust in the process. Because this takes time to have patience. And know that the reward is there. That on the other side of the challenge is something so much more than we could have ever imagined. So much greater than we have experienced. And it all begins with you, with us, within, with me. It begins with a choice and acting upon that choice. No matter what comes up, our knees may shake, our stomach may churn, our throat may close up. That radical trust, a baby doesn't give up after its first fall or the 22nd or the 100th as it learns to stand and walk on its own two feet. Several years back while I was in Rishikesh, India, I vowed to be of service to this. To live it, to be it, to love it, to breathe with it, to move as it, to be 
better together and know that it began within. That's where the whole better together mantra became everything to me. I've had to be of absolute service to this, my truth, to others' truth, our collective truth, to hold others with compassion, with gentleness, to remember the magic, to be a humble servant, to listen deeper and talk less, to see the future within the present, to honor my boundaries and respect others, to openly communicate from a voice of responsibility rather than reactivity, to no longer repeat the trauma bonding, to breathe love where there is apathy, to breathe peace where there is conflict, to love anyway, always, in all ways. When love and life is worth every bit of what's revealed, we step up or we step aside. There's too much at stake to live a life half-lived. Love doesn't hold back. Now is where life breathes. We are paving the way. We are here to live with a complete sense of adventure, to be of service, to love and be loved, to heal the generational trauma, to merge with the infinite, to go beyond the beyond, there's always an opportunity for growth in every moment. The invitation is to be willing to step aside and set aside our ego, our pride, our rightness, and look in the mirror with an honest reflection. Breaking patterns isn't running away from them. It's confronting them and taking inspired action with the support and guidance of a loving community. And that community can be our partner, it could be our friend group. It could be the people that we choose to participate in our inner circle. We've come too far only to get this far. Right now, we have such an opportunity to shift the dynamics and the direction of where humanity is headed, of where this planet is headed, of where our universe is headed. We have that capability simply by shifting the dynamics of how we engage day to day. And it all begins with a choice and it all begins within and it all begins with you and it all begins with me and it all begins with us. And we are so much better together. If this podcast resonated with you, or if you feel that there's someone that would, please pass it on. That's what Reverberations is all about. Echoing a message that resonates within. And if you or anyone that you are connected with is feeling disconnected from passion, purpose, stuck in a feedback loop of repeating patterns that aren't providing results that are in alignment with what you desire. Let's free up some bandwidth, open up the possibilities, and embrace the fire within. Visit Embrace the Fire Within, select a time to connect, and I look forward to our conversation. Have an amazing day. Love you all.